Well, I've been struggling for an introduction for this video, but what's a better place than a, uh, a rest stop on I-80? I'll be spending a lot of time on I-80 today, but the, the trip is finally underway. This is gonna be my 2023 Montana uh, general season tour. So this trip is a month long. We're gonna go through a couple different aspects of the trip. The trip's gonna start on the east side, hunting mule deer and antelope. The mule deer season opens in three days. So we'll have a couple days to chase antelope when we get there. Then we'll go straight into mule deer on the east side of Montana. Hopefully it can be successful pretty shortly. And uh, then we'll be heading west for elk. That's what we're most excited about. So the, the mule deer, hopefully we can get it done quick, find some mature animals, get some stalks in and get it done. But this trip's gonna encompass all of September. Uh, it's going to finish with a kind of a family vacation for me and my girlfriend Kendall. So we'll be hunting for three weeks. I'm leaving Ohio today. It is August 30th, and I'm returning. I think the first or second day in October. So September in Montana. Here we come. Stay tuned. I'll be filming the whole thing. Probably going to be a couple videos made out of this. I'm going with Dylan primarily, but Jay is also going to be in the area. You've seen him on some past videos. But this is it. Today is just a lot of driving. I think we're ended up somewhere in South Dakota tonight. We're all meeting in an Airbnb. And then we'll finish the drive tomorrow. Jay's going straight to the west side. So he's got a little bit longer drive. He's focusing on elk. Uh, he's a solo guy focusing solo on elk. So hopefully he has good luck. He got a camera, so he'll be filming as well. So you may see some of that in this video. You may not. So, well, I'll see you in South Dakota. Ready? What's up? Yeah, I'm ready. Cool. All right, uh, darkness prevails, but it is morning of travel day two. Just left the Airbnb. I met up with uh, Dylan and Jay. Jay is off to the uh, wonderful world of western Montana and me and Dylan are going to the eastern side to start our hunt today. We got about five hours of driving and we'll be in the state and we'll be hunting antelope today. So that is so exciting. Kick off the 2023 season and kick off this trip. So hopefully we can find some antelope today, maybe put some stalks in. We're just going to be getting a layout of the unit, layout of the state. I don't know how much hunting we're going to get into today, but we're doing it. I'm freaking excited. It's early, five o'clock. Looks like we'll get there. Uh, my GPS is saying 9.30, so probably about 10 o'clock by the time we stop and stuff, but I am pumped. It's time to get this trip kicked off. We, as in me, and Dylan driving ahead of me because he's a madman, are in Montana. We're here. I got a tag in my pocket. Season is open. It's time to go. I'm about 10 minutes from uh, 
where we're going to hunt first off. Uh, we've been seeing some antelope. Haven't seen any in Montana yet, but we were seeing some in Wyoming and South Dakota, so that's a good sign. But next time you see us, we'll be probably glassing for antelope. Maybe we'll find one, and maybe we'll get a stalk in a day. First day in the in the state of Montana. First day hunting. Let's do this thing. I don't give a shit. This is a free country last I checked. <laughs> yeah, we can we can cruise up for sure. We got a couple miles probably of nothing and then a lot of public on left and right. Yeah, we'll we'll mark these guys and come back. Yeah. But I mean it's a good sign so far. Yeah, I would say so. We have found Antelope. We put our hunting shit on. I got my bow. Got a tag. We're doing it. Found a place to I don't know, we could camp here tonight if we have to. In the middle of nowhere. Or we're gonna camp way back out in the backcountry, but so far, the trip couldn't be going better, besides the fact that it's 800 degrees. It's not that bad. No, it's not too bad. We're in it. We're doing it. Show the road. <laughs> got bucks. <laughs> we got bucks. Hundreds of them. We got a big lone buck. But He's he, down in that ditch right there to your right, too. He is way out in the middle of nowhere. So we're going to see if the road goes behind him. But well, there's a herd of probably like 30 of them. If we could get close to him, it'd be awesome because he's big. All right, well, camp tour time. Not much to it. We're right here. Got the old Coleman out in the middle of Nowhereville. So we're sleeping at the trucks tonight. We decided what we're going to do for this evening. We're going to hike in. Uh, it's about a two mile hike in into some like nice little coolies. So we're gonna glass those tonight for uh, mule deer and see what we can see. Maybe find a pronghorn or two. That's the story for tonight. So hopefully we can glass up some deer. If not, we'll go check out some uh, different kind of terrain. But that's the story. All right, well, we're... Oh my gosh, I am sunburned. Well, we're wrapping up our first day. <laughs> And I'm very sunburnt, but we saw some deer, we saw a small buck, we saw some does, saw a shit pile of antelope. So check out a new spot tomorrow, do some more uh, antelope hunting, I think. But this place is freaking awesome. Just look at it. Found a little watering hole. So we might come back here, but probably not. It's about two miles off the road. So we got some trekking to do back to camp. We're gonna go over another rise and do a little glass and while the sun sets. But it's been good. It has been real good so far. Skunked. We're not skunked. Yeah, we'll see you back at camp. We're gonna do some cooking tonight probably. Some Luco on. Mr. Dylan. Hey, Rip. Morning of day two. First full day in Montana. We're going to go find some deer this morning and we're going to find some antelope. Wouldn't go forward. Is that steak? Make sure I don't hit that steak. Yeah. So 
what I'm saying. I wouldn't go forward. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we're going to find some antelope, some deer. We got ran out of camp by cows last night. We had to move our camp at 10 o'clock, so that was real cool after walking back. They don't leave you alone. <laughs> no, so that was cool. But today's going to be a day of scouting. Hopefully find some deer. Stay tuned. Well, we came to a spot that checked all our boxes for what we wanted to check, and there's nothing here. We haven't seen a deer, which is very weird. We thought we'd at least uh, kick one out of this river bottom, but I guess this means on to the next spot. Very weird. Maybe the deer just know where public is, or maybe we need to get into the high ground. We did see some deer uh, driving this morning, but no big bucks on public yet. Damn. All right, now that I got the microphone figured out. Uh, hunt location one in the books. Even though deer season and elk season hasn't even started yet, we decided that this location is gonna be a little bit too difficult for us to hunt, I think. Not enough deer. There is quite a few antelope. I was able to get a few stalks in, that was fun. But we're gonna move on to some more hillier terrain. This stuff's so open. Even if we could find a lot of deer, we don't know how well we could stalk them. So we're gonna move on. Oh, it's Friday, deer season starts tomorrow. So hopefully we can find a spot to uh, hike into tonight. That's kind of the plan. Hike a couple miles in tonight, set up camp, and be ready to go in the morning. Uh, Last night we had to move camp at 11 o'clock because of cows, so that was real fun. But it's been going well. We did see a pretty nice buck this morning when we were driving around, but he was in, he was on public, but he was in pretty much an impossible place. He was just in the middle of a sage flat. So we're gonna keep that in the arsenal just in case, but right now we're moving on and we'll see you at uh, mule deer camp. We're gonna go shoot an antelope. There might be bucks. I only saw two does, but I didn't creep over very far. So we're gonna creep up this trail. Shoot one in the face. That's a wrap on deer season eve. Deer season starts tomorrow. Uh, can't say we're too excited going in. We didn't see much tonight. Dylan saw a bunch of spikes. I saw a bunch of forks way far away on private. Lots of cows. No hunting pressure yet, so that's good. Things could change in the morning. We were glassing into the sun all night, so it could be different in the morning, but hopefully we don't get killed by these cows tonight. But we're excited and uh, we'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna get some good sleep tonight. Wake up early, start glassing, and hopefully get a deer on the ground. So far it's been good, it's been hot, but it gets cold quick. Dylan almost froze to death last night in the tent, so stick with us here, and hopefully we have some deer to show you tomorrow. Well, it's opening day. 
the sun's coming up. We're about to get to our glassing spot. And uh, we're excited. It's windy. We slept like shit last night because it was so windy, but releases are on and it's time to go. It's absolutely beautiful out here. It's going to be a hot one today, but we're ready for it. We're ready to see some deer, ready to get some stalks in, hopefully get something on the ground today. Antelope, mule deer, fair game. Elk is next week. Stay tuned. Shed, huh? He's laying right in the middle of the, like right in the middle of cow trail. Bizarre. It's so thick down here, I cannot see up to that side, so I stayed up and I can see a lot better, but I think we could both just walk the edge of this. And from that side over to there, if they do come up out of the bottom, they have like a six yard shot across. Those little guts are like deep. Dude, it's so thick and it's so low. Yeah. again moving on it's opening day noon we're driving out of this crazy area that we went into yesterday uh, did a bunch of glassing it's kind of bumpy did a bunch of glassing just saw a bunch of does uh, some antelope but they're all pretty far away biggest buck we saw was a giant spike we're just not seeing the numbers of deer we wanted so we're gonna move on from this area uh, we got to refuel, get some ice, stuff like that, and uh, move to a new area tonight. We're going to kind of uh, drive around, gauge the access, gauge the pressure, see what the pressure looks like. Because it is opening day, you know, Saturday, we'll see who's hunting where. Maybe that'll give us a little bit of insight to where the deer are. But that's what we're doing. Uh, long drive out of here. We're many, many miles back. But we'll keep you updated and... Uh, See you when we get where we're going. I, I, Isaac, I swear to God, like 170 inch, 180 inch deer. I'm not even kidding. And they went right in that little saddle? right here and I look over and they either came out of this ditch or that next one and I said no they came out of here because I seen them come running over this hill they went down left side of that hill and then they went that way and there's a couple fingers kind of like this but more trees and it just drops down and there's some cows and stuff at the top but I think they went right down in there and just hung up or were they really spooked or are they just kind of bounding they're just bounding I mean they stopped right there looked and just kind of kept going. So you think we go up there and try to pick them out? Dude, I would probably venture to say that's one of the bigger mule deer I've seen even from Utah. <laughs> There's two. One's just a big, tall four pointer. Four point. The other one's it's giant. Just a giant mega frame. Well. And shit. then there was a smaller one that I probably would have shot too. Probably 130 inch. Yeah. 
They were literally, go they were literally right here. Well, things just got exciting. I saw a giant. Dylan saw him from the truck, so we tried to make a play to cut him off. And I came up and he was already further than me. He was like 75 yards just staring at me, but he was huge. And now I got two, two pointers down below me. I guess I'm gonna wait for Dylan to come over here. We don't have service. Well, this is getting exciting, so stay tuned. four by four we did not see today and it's 547 he's out of his bed we got two and a half hours till dark so. big hard horn four point two hours till dark not one of the bucks we saw this morning we're gonna watch him for a minute we're not really sure what this wind's doing it's different up here than it was down there well spotted a Nice 4x4. Four four. He's already hard horned actually, but Isaac is working his way all the way around and I'm gonna try and give him hand signals if I can. Alright, I'm headed on the first mule deer stock of 2023. We spotted this hard horned, probably 130, 145. And uh, Dylan spotted him, but he gave me the first shot at it. He's got some mule deers of this caliber on the wall already. I don't, so. And with the monsters we saw earlier, he wants to wait for those. But we got him feeding. I'm gonna make a play on him. Hopefully this wind holds up. Dylan's gonna film from up there. He was 500 yards from there, but I probably gotta go half a mile to get around to him. Wish me luck. Hopefully there's a nice cattle trail all the way there. But hopefully I can film him. He's just up and walking around. So I think it's so early that I think he might go back into bed right there by that tree he came out on. So we'll see. But hopefully hopefully he can get something done. And there's a lot of other that we haven't seen this deer yet. And there's three three big deer and there's two mega giants in here so we shall see what happens if that one doesn't work out there might be another one pops up but if another deer pops up I'm out he's on his own I'll go chase him so it's opening day we have plenty of time and there's a lot of big deer in here finally we found them so we will see what happens we got about two and a half hours till dark so it doesn't get any better than this man Well, that's it for that stalk. I got around the bend and the wind shifted and blew straight to him. Dylan was watching from above and he said that all the deer blew out of there. A whole bunch of them did. The wind blew right down in the bottom. So that's a buzzkill, but the night is young. The season is young. Hopefully we blast something else tonight. Stay tuned. Oh, for one. Mill deer stalks. I'm whooped. I'm whooped. What's your synopsis of the day, Mr. Dillon? Well, we found big deer, so like our odds, but we have friends. We do have friends. Yeah, they parked at our truck, got out and messed around, and then drove down here, and the guy just looked up at me, then drove another half mile, and he's unpacking something, I don't know. So, we'll see. We know there's some good deer in these two little basins here, so hopefully 
if all goes well, put them to bed in the morning and have a good wind. That's what screwed you. Yep, that's what screwed me. And you kill them. Finally started to see good deer though. Well, we we are wrapping up day one of mule deer hunting. Got a stalk in. Got really sunburnt. Saw a lot of deer. We have a plan in place for the morning and the evening tomorrow. It's gonna be hot. The high's 97. But then we get a little bit of a reprieve from the heat. And I think we get some rain, so. We're thinking we're going to stay up here for a few days, depending on what our new neighbor uh, gets up to. Yeah, his name's Bill. We'll have to keep, a, keep, a, keep an eye on him to see what he's doing. He parked about 500 yards away from us, and he was unloading totes. So that's going to be exciting. But now, we are going to pack this glassing knob up, go set up tent, and camp, and eat some food, and drink some water, and go to bed. Because we're tired. Do it all over again tomorrow. That little guy, he's really tired. Now that I'm a little bit out of the sun, in the shade, I'll give you a recap on our day so far. Started off glassing like normal, just seen a few does. Uh, didn't see any bucks this morning, so we decided to do a little still hunting through these little ditches. And we uh, we jumped up some does, but nothing, nothing crazy. I saw a spike. Uh, today's gonna be a hot one. It's already about 90. It's going to be 97 by uh, 4 o'clock. So we're probably going to lay low during the day. Glass again tonight. Figure out what's going on, where these bucks went. We seen them last night, but... Or we seen a nice 4x4 four four last night. But we'll see if we can find them tonight. Uh, finally some cooler weather coming for the rest of the week, so that's good. That should really help the deer movement, because we just don't think they're coming out of these ditches when it's... I mean, it's hot when the sun comes up and it stays hot until midnight so we're gonna lay low for the rest of the day and that's the uh that's the ball game but we'll see you tonight grab some lunch here soon all right all right well finally got a little bit of action today but it's been a long day not much going on it's just been so hot Finally getting to glass tonight. Spotted some does, actually a couple different groups of does. Me and Dylan did some splitting up, but hoping the heat settles down tonight. Tomorrow's only supposed to be high in the 70s as opposed to 90s today. So hopefully something shows itself tonight. Like I said, only does so far, but I'm optimistic. We're in a new area. So, wish me luck. Dying. What are we doing, Dylan? Well, if you can't tell, it's about the thunderstorm. And our dumbasses left their camp all open. So, we're screwed.
we left the tent wide open because it was 100 degrees and there's no chance of rain until, I don't know, tomorrow night. But Dylan was glassing to the west and saw it coming. So we have like five miles to drive on nothing but cattle pasture roads to get to our tent before it starts raining. Dylan's going to break his truck. We made it back. Thank Jesus. Close these windows up. And the storm is coming. Welcome to day three of the hunt. I think it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Me and Dylan split up for the morning to try to cover some more basins. We're not sure if the bucks are still in here or if we bumped them all out, but we're going to do the best we can to find them today and to hopefully get a stock in. We haven't got a stock in since Saturday evening. Yesterday was pretty dead crazy windstorm last night hopefully that doesn't happen again but it's much cooler today there's some clouds the weather's looking much better we're just hoping we didn't booger these deer out too bad but stick with us hopefully we'll see some see some deer today if not we might have to switch places or we might head west to start hunting elk we'll see but stay tuned a beautiful morning oh my god so I just watched it all unfold from I don't know about a thousand yards away I didn't see the shot I didn't see the deer I was actually watching a doe when he took the shot but Dylan just smoked that hard horn four point that we've been watching for two days oh I can't wait and we're gonna meet back up close to camp and then we're gonna go find this thing stay tuned things just got real exciting Yes, yes, yes. We're good. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe that just happened. Oh my God. So this morning we watched this buck. I was sitting right here on this knob. Isaac watched the backside and that four point we got video of the other day, hard horned already, got out of the same exact bed and he was working down, working down, came. It, it was late. Dude, I don't know. What time did he actually go to bed? I don't know. We had to... S he never even we never even really saw him go to bed no Probably like 9 30. yeah but he uh nine o'clock he worked all the way down here and he got up into these there's like three fingers that go up and i walked those like three times already so he went down in the, the middle one and it just it worked out dude i snuck down through here put my little slippers on 300 yards away from where i, I know, was i was i was videotaping you stalking was, through there and like it was so quiet dude and the wind automatically switched hit the back of my ears and i didn't know whether to film you look for the deer because i can only use my spot scope one it, way it, well when i got down i knew he was in I, he had to have been in there so i just slowly slowly crept come over the side and i look over and i see his head turn look back at me probably 40 yards if i would have seen him earlier i could have been ready to shoot him right there and he jumped up and then he jumped he went down and what mule deer do they always you know go up stop look back so i kept ranging 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 and i saw where he was starting to slow down hit 87 yards and i think he made a couple steps past that so i cranked it down to 90 and just settled oh. in dude and he just did a big old mule kick and i mean arrow looks really good i left it there um it's got blood or good red blood and bubbles and stuff so he took off went down and then went back up that left side and i lost him as he started going up so i don't know if he died right on top there or if he went over in that next gut but i mean it looked like i smoked him so Hell give him yeah. give him some time it was really good blood we'll might get, have been a little bit low we'll get our packs ready but we'll see i didn't see well, as he was running away i think i'm pretty sure i saw blood pouring out of his one side but i can't well, that's good. can't and believe the arrow it. looks good oh yeah oh really yes good. real good bubbles on this it buck for two days now 
He's the yeah. only buck we had left, basically. Yeah, and it just worked out. I wish he was velvet, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. We'll give him some time, get our packs ready, and uh, we'll go get him. Yeah. Hopefully, he's just laying right up there. Oh my gosh. Dude, we just worked so goddamn hard. Finally came together. I can't believe it. I can't either. The way it all happened. Just, I don't know. Let's hope he's dead. Hope he didn't suffer and just find him, pack him out. That's what we're going to go do. It's starting to get hot. Yeah. Better than yesterday, though. Yeah, it's much better than yesterday. Well, we're going to find it. It's been in about an hour since he shot. We're going to go find this deer. And probably take it into town if anywhere's open today. It's Labor Day, right? Yeah, yeah Labor Day. If anything's open today, <clears throat> take him to town. If not, he's going to sit in this cooler on ice for a few days. Yeah. Then we're going to shoot another deer and go elk hunting. Yeah. We're ready. Oh, I'm ready. This basin's whooped. <laughs> <laughs> we have put a number on it. There it was, so... Didn't even look for blood. Just wanted to make sure my arrow had blood on it. Good blood. And we're only what? Three, four hundred yards from camp? Yeah. This basin right over the hill. Thanks to me, I found the deer when we were driving out. <laughs> we would have left. We were. Three days ago. We on opening day, we would have left. We were out. To the right of that bush up there. And he was right down in here. Like 40 yards, jumped up, came right through where we're at, and stopped. Here at my house, sticking out there. Yeah, see right there. There's some bubbles in that. That thing looks perfect. He was standing right in here somewhere, but then went, he might have side hilled here and went over, but I saw him go back up that other side. That's, that was perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Dried up, but lots of bubbles. Definitely smells like a good hit. Now let's find some blood. Right here, blood. Yep. So he did cut up this way. Tracking in this stuff is hard with the dirt. Blood. There's this track. Mm -hmm. She went down this way. This stuff is so hard to find it in. Oh, there's blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good blood. It's going down here. Oh, look at all this. Yeah. Right here. He's right coming out of both sides or some here. This is his track. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm telling you, 
this stuff is so hard to find blood in. We have this problem in New Mexico. Where? 50 yards, under them trees. <laughs> Dead buck. I didn't even see him, dude. Oh, he only went not even 100 yards. I wanna make sure he's dead, though. I think he's belly up. I think he's moving, dude. He's moving. It almost looked like it, unless it's the wind. Rather be safe than sorry. I think his head's down. Oh, he's toast, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. yes. Dude, he's bigger than he looks. I know he is. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think he looks smaller because we've seen a couple 180s. Dude, yes. I absolutely drilled him. <laughs> Dude. Dude, you freaking clobbered him. Oh my God. I can't believe I didn't see him go down. This is like the last spot I seen him. Dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Ooh. I'll oh, take that, huh? My God. Yeah, I'll take that. He's a little spindly, but for out here, dude, you can't can't beat it. That's awesome. That's unbelievable. Eye guards on him, dude. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> yeah, dog. We did it. We did it. He's in the bag. Let's go kill another one. Let's go kill finally another one. breaking up. It's hot right now, but it's a high of, I think, 80 today, where yesterday was a high of 98. Maybe we'll be able to drop them off, grab some lunch, get back out here. If not, yeah. we'll just eat lunch here. and Got plenty of time. It's, yeah, it's noon. Noon. We wrapped them up quick. Yeah. There he is. One deer, two packs. Should be a pretty easy pack out. And we only have, I don't know, 400 yards to go to camp. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Probably. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. I think I got everything. I didn't leave anything. You got your knife? Yep. Go the same washed. way we came in or go the right side of that I'll hill. just go right up to the top and see what it looks like up there. 
Let's take a little looksy poo. Already out of breath. So we're here filming with two cameras. <laughs> it is so bright and sunny though. It's hot. It's hot. It is. It is warm. We got him buttoned up in like an hour. Yeah, wasn't bad. It's 12.03 right now, two and a half hours since you shot him. And he's almost at the trucks. Take this cattle trail? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. How you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good other than it being hot. Pretty much no shade. Let's get this thing on ice. That was a good one. Well, here we go again. Similar story as yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Last, night. last night. Storms rolling in, this time uh, potential severe thunderstorms. And we left the tent, set up our pack sitting outside of it. <laughs> God knows what else I left sitting outside my truck. Probably left the windows open or something dumb. Our tent's actually blowing away, I see you right now. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> it's not raining here. But where our camp is, we should be there in about 25 minutes, but hopefully it's still there. If not, it's going to be a long night and day of drying all our shit out. <laughs> Rain and done. Fuck. <laughs> really dry our stuff. off the remains so the bears don't eat us yeah Dylan's scared of bears so he's uh cleaning off his meat tarp yeah you'll be scared too and you get fucked up but today and it does smell like a camel's ass so it does <laughs> today we drove way back into an access probably 10 miles 15 miles yeah and nothing but mosquitoes no deer tracks, maybe one set of deer tracks, maybe some elk tracks. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed deer tracks. So we don't know what we're gonna do. We might have to just move. I mean, we are gonna move, but we don't know where we're gonna go. We're thinking about heading west soon. 
elk hunting soon and mule deer hunting. So stick with us. Today has been uneventful to say the least.